So I have a number of boats in my uh, selections to choose from uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So not just airplanes, but uh, plenty of different boats and many of them from Marine RM. And today I, I want to uh, take you on an expedition to the Antarctic on the AHTS Havyard 842. So this would be my expedition uh, vehicle to get us to Antarctica. And what I'd like us to do is show you where we're taking off from. We will start on the very southern tip of South America. And I don't know how to pronounce it, but there's a there's an airport here, an airstrip, and actually there is, well, we can't quite see it, but close to this airstrip, there's a place for kind of a shipyard for the, where the boats go in and out of to take off for expeditions to the Antarctic. And we want to set our flight conditions to December. Does December be the right time of year? And uh, let's go at December 10th. It's going to take about three days to get to the Antarctic. And I'll show you why the journey from and I don't know how to pronounce it, Ushola to or the tip of South America to where we're heading to Agar Base or Rothera Base is about 900 nautical miles. So it's going to take a few days to do it, probably around three days. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, the ship can go 20, 25 knots. Maybe it can go faster. But we'll, let's go ahead and set on out and start our journey out of here. There's some seagulls here. Flamingos up in that area. Some places to explore at some future time. Uh, we're going to start off here. Now, obviously, we won't be online for three days straight, so I'll be uh, taking you through some of the scenery and where the expedition starts, heading on out with our ship, and then um, mid-ocean, uh, maybe some views of that, and then as we approach our base and uh, see what we get, we'll see what is there. Here's our ship, ready to go. And the interior of the ship is quite nice, quite large. One thing, and I don't really understand why, here's our throttle, you can see. I don't understand why, but I don't have any sound, and uh, I need to download the manual for this ship, but I don't hear any hum or, or anything like that, but uh, I think that could be fixed at some point. So let's go. Let's start our expedition. We also can use the nav map. And huh, it's got us, it, you know, usually puts us he heading dead north and we're going to want to head on out this way through these islands and come down through this channel here. It's quite beautiful. I've done this actually before and head on and head on out. Now, typically, I don't know if they, and I, I think this is called the Beagle Channel and possibly they either go out this way. But I don't see any reason why not to come out this way. So that's what I'm going to do. Of course, that would take absolutely hours to do that. So um, I'm not going to 
spend hours on this video, but just kind of give you some of the highlights. I love this ship. It's it's quite nice. And um, we'll get going here. This area, uh, the southern tip, is mountainous. The southern tip of uh, South America is mountainous, and it's quite beautiful. Snow-capped mountains. So I'm making my way around, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. Let's take a take a view of all the way around this as we make our slow turn to head south. In real life, um, right behind us, there's a boat dock, um, you know, and it's just not here in Microsoft Flight Simulator, unfortunately. So I figured we just set off from this point here uh, since there's no actual boat dock uh, in, the, in the simulator. Maybe one day somebody will put it in. But we're on our way to our Arctic Antarctic expedition. So it looks like I'm heading east because I'm heading directly towards the sun, so we gotta keep ourselves turning. Here's the view from the inside. And you can see on the screen that these screens do work. I mean, I do have my nav map up here. And I don't know why I blew it out like that. There we go. And I lost my icon. So I do have my nav map here. But I also can see myself right here. And I lost my icon here, too. So that's something I'm not sure what's going on. But uh, you can see uh, on this, I'm 172. So I'm starting to head almost south. And I got to get actually a little further out before I get around these islands. Not the same feel as flying, but it is quite nice. Uh, it's If any of you have done some... You know, long range flying. I did. I, um, uh, when I, f a couple years back, I mean, this may have been, right, I think right from the get go, because, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator came out in August of 2020. And it was a time where a lot of us had plenty of time at home, and, uh, because of lockdowns and whatnot. But I, uh, I decided I was going to fly from my home in Florida. A small general aviation aircraft, ah, uh, probably a Cessna, if I remember. Started off with a single prop and and headed up toward Georgia, and uh, and then over to Tennessee. And then I think once I got out out a few states, I upgraded to a, I think a multi-engine or just a nicer nicer uh, a private plane, and then started heading my way across country. So, you know, any of you have done some long-range cross-country aviation trips, uh, you know, they take hours. But, you know, you take them, uh, you know, an hour or two at a time, and then you land and take a break, and, you know, and then you head on out again. So over the course of um, real-time days, you can do such a thing. So it seems quite, you know, ridiculous to take a boat because, a, a, you know, a boat's slow moving. It's only going, you know, 25 miles an hour, you know, um, you know, ground speed. And, <laughs> uh, but it's the same thing, you, you know, you, you take it, you take this for, uh, you know, um, for however long you want to do. And only I'll, in this case, I'll skip. I'll, uh, I'll take it through some scenery for a while, and then uh, I'll skip to the to the next junction to where I think uh, I'm heading. It's not the not quite the same as finding a landing pad, like uh, in the case of um, air travel, but um, it is quite fun. So before we uh, make our first skip or whatever, as we make it through this area, 
let's uh, let's show you around the ship with the external camera. I, I love using the the showcase camera. Uh, get a look. Now, one of the things you know, I've I've criticized, and when I say I criticized, I've been talking up RM Marine. Uh, this developer of boats for Microsoft Flight Simulator has been a well, it's been a godsend for me because I love flying, of course, but I also love boats. And gosh, what a better what better venue is there in gameplay than, you know, a Sobos Planet Earth? But we have all of Planet Earth here. So what's not, why not take advantage of it? So, um, but my criticism of it, he does such beautiful detail work in 3D. Uh, but he doesn't do much in the way of textures. So there's not much weathering. But, you know, the ships he builds are beautiful. The boats he builds are beautiful. Um, but there isn't much in the way of weathering. So, definitely uh, lo love this boat. I wanted a kind of a utility boat to, to use, and he, oh, I'm so happy he developed one. All the other boats he originally started doing were smaller private boats, you know, uh, motor boats, and he did some sailboats he'd seen in my other videos. But, uh, well done, well done. Yeah, you can, <laughs> I kind of, you can go down below decks and of course there's nothing there. But he actually has made some ships, uh, old time ships like the Titanic. And you can go below decks and see all the beautiful furnishings of that kind of a ship. Um, but I'm so happy he got this one out. It does have some animations. I'll show you. Let me get back into it because I gotta, I gotta change course here. Go back into external view. As we get around these islands. Get to talking, you're not paying attention, and next thing you know, you can be ram run ramming into an island. But yeah, so we do have uh, we do have water spray off the bow, and we got foam off the off the rear. And we got very good all around and animations on. And let's see, I think, yeah. So we do have some animations on this boat for whenever we get to where we're going. So let's put that away. Isn't that neat? So there you have it. We're starting our expedition off of the southern tip of South America, heading towards Antarctica. Okay, as you can see, we skipped down, uh, down into the channel a bit. Give you a view of a couple hours later. A little bit of the background scenery. It's just it's just beautiful here coming through this channel. What it looks like on the inside. Well let's take a look at our map. Drop that down. And we're working our way through the channel. Make our way on out soon enough. Yep, 
You know what fascinates me too is all of planet Earth is done. Whether anybody ever goes there or sees it or discovers it, every last bit, you know, it's kind of like um, in reality, there's places on, on this Earth that still haven't been discovered yet. Uh, we, You know, even the deep, deep parts of the ocean, we're just now starting to get submarines down 27,000 feet to, to explore these deep parts that they exist, they're there, life's there and uh, nobody's seen it yet but there was a time in our history that a good deal of planet earth wasn't even discovered and beautiful islands and beautiful scenery and you know i feel that way too um uh for most of us you know in microsoft flight simulator in fact i i, I kind of wonder how much a flight simulator has been discovered how much of planet earth in microsoft flight simulator has been discovered by at least somebody you know and since we have people who live everywhere on the planet and have access to microsoft flight simulator i would think that most of it has but uh i i don't know if it wasn't for the antarctic expedition and wanting to explore antarctic ever since you know microsoft came out with the the update for those who wanted to download Oceana, which included uh, the Antarctic uh, specialties, I would have never even considered looking at the southern tip of South America. Maybe other northern areas are flying around, but it um, uh, wasn't until I did some research, you know, where do, where do expeditions start to get out there? Do they start at the... Uh, southern tip of Africa and I guess some of them may uh, but uh, there is a there is a public um, for those that want to do this Antarctic expedition not you know for science but for personal you know vacation uh, there is a company that that has these expeditions for those of you who have money to do it and you, you go right out of this area and I found it fascinating and uh, followed somebody on YouTube that did the expedition. Quite interesting. And maybe that's something you want to put on your real life uh, bucket list. I'm not sure it's for me, but uh, I don't know. It interests me. This scenery down here, too, going through this channel, I just, I thought it was, it was surprising to me. I, I didn't realize, never thought about this coming this way, as I said earlier, but... I was surprised how uh, scenic it was. Panoramic, you know, for sure. Definitely. So I think uh, you kind of get the idea of what it's like coming through this channel. Um, you know, whether I uh, continue to do so in real time, that's another thing. But I'll, I'll, uh, I'll skip us to uh, open ocean. Um, Looking at our map. Whoop. Why did I turn that off? Looking at the map, it would take us down out of the channel and open ocean and eventually get us down to the Antarctic. So, let's go. Okay, we're back now and we've done most of our 800 and some nautical miles. More than that, almost 900. And uh, still no sight of land yet. But we're we're out here, and uh, it's it's this is the darkest time of night. Uh, this this is why I picked this time of year. It's it's pretty much got light all day long, and you can see some stars in the background. But you know it's uh, we got daylight for most of the time. But eventually, we should come and come upon uh, Antarctica and have our first sighting. Waves are a bit bigger out here. We don't even see land on our, on our, oh yeah we do, there we are, need to head 
All right. Nothing like instruments to help you out, right? So let's get in here and head, uh, well, I don't know how I got off course. I was at 180. Let's get this thing turned towards land. So eventually we should have sighting. Yeah, it's a little too responsive. Well, maybe I can work on that myself, but. But here we go, and uh, give you an idea through the old boring sea for a couple days. It's now uh, December 13th, I think. We left on the 10th, maybe it's December 12th. It's been two days out. And time for us to uh, skip until at least we see land. All right, we'll catch you on the next uh, in the next day, probably. Well, here we are some hours later, and we have land. So we're heading toward that now. And see what we can find on this expedition. All right, let's go. Well, here we are. We're on the leeward side of the island, so the wind cut down quite a bit. Just uh, making our way through these icebergs. We're here. We're in Antarctica, not far from the base. I think uh, Microsoft did a pretty good job with this scenery pack for Antarctica, Oceania. I've been enjoying it. As you see with a previous video to this, um, using the old time sailboat, it was kind of fun seeing it for the first time. Then I had to upgrade to my computer and I couldn't find where I was. And I thought, what's wrong here? And I forgot I needed to, once you upgrade your computer, you have to <laughs> not only redo all your settings and reinstall your games, you have to reinstall all the, all the packs and the mods and it's been it's been almost a month since I made the computer upgrade and uh, I'm, st I'm still finding things I need to do need to install I don't know what I think about the next version of Microsoft Flight Simulator the 2024 it's kind of a mystery I mean we have little tidbits and little uh, bit of uh, trailer to watch and um, it's difficult for me to say. It's, it's a, a lot of conversation about it, yeah, but it's still a mystery to all of us. And, and maybe a little controversial because we thought, you know, this would be updated and, and supported for, for a long time to come. And, and I think that still may be the case. So why, we be, why would we want to be buying a, something wholly different? And uh, I think there may be good cause for why it has to be a complete new product. Um, and it's going to offer us uh, something, is, you know, something greater than this. That's an interesting, this is a hard act to follow. This is fantastic. But it's going to offer a lot of the things uh, that are non-visual type things. Radio and, um, you know, realistic uh, flight plans and operations that, we're using mods to do now or, or not quite satisfied with the current way of it's doing and I think that'd be all part of the new one uh, to make it a better simulator and who wouldn't want that I'm thinking you know uh, in fact it, it's going to be expensive I'm sure I mean it, um, these things aren't you know they're not your normal games that are 50 60 dollars these are you know, at least twice that, so. There's a dock over there. I can't believe the water's so calm. I, I mean, I set the weather. It's even calmer than I thought it would be. I want to slow us down here. 
as we come closer to the dock. Unfortunately, one thing that uh, you know Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, didn't do is they don't have underwater topography. So uh, sometimes when you get close to dock, you may hit bottom. <laughs> And I know approaching this dock, you can't get right up against it. Well, I certainly did slow down, but I'm still heading that way. I don't know if you can see it yet, but there's a little inflatable motorboat. I think it's an inflatable running around out in front of him. Let me dock this and we'll get in the external camera and look around the camp, look around the, the Bay Area here. Yeah, I, w I wish I can get closer, but as memory serves, this is as close as I can get. Kind of stop here. We go in, we can put out some... I don't know, it's having trouble. All right, there we go. Let's see how that looks. Uh, it backed up a little on me, but I put out some mooring ropes. You know, if I if I could get closer to this dock, I would have put the ropes out to the dock. But it's hitting bottom right now, unfortunately. But here we are. Well, I wanted to move that back. So let's take the external camera. We can turn that off. Do the showcase camera. Drone speed. We got to take that down because it gets to be a little bit too fast. All right, let's give that a try. Take a look around the base. Here we are. We have arrived at our Antarctica expedition. Let's look out here for that motorboat. I lost them. I don't know what happened to that motorboat. I don't know, maybe the drone speed is too slow. Turn our rotation speed down. Okay, now let's go. There we go. So here's the camp. People up here having a view. Looking at the sunset, I guess. Here's the airstrip. This would be a fun airstrip to fly into, that's for sure.
what's along the shoreline here. Antarctic Special Protected Area. Lothara Point. Very nice. It's a guy doing something strange. I don't know what he's doing. Finger. Definitely uh, worthwhile flying into this because they modeled a lot of detail for you, those of you who don't want to do a boat but want to just fly. Come in with an aircraft and Up here. So we got some penguins walking along the airstrip. I think that's part of the challenge is when you come in, uh, when you land, you got to watch out for these guys. <laughs> Make sure you don't run them over. So who wants to come all the way down here 900 miles and not see some penguins? That would be awful. Now look, there's an expedition of vehicle. That looks like fun. Wouldn't that be fun to have one of those to drive around? Don't run over the penguins. <laughs> Now, I don't know what happened to that speedboat that was going around the island. Or the uh, peninsula, or whatever this is. Ah, look at this. No, oh, that's an iceberg. There's me. How far will this drone fly? So there's another expedition ship out here besides my own. We'll take a closer look at it. This one's got a helicopter pad on the back. I gotta wonder if you took a helicopter down here, or started from this airstrip with a helicopter, if you can fly out and land on this pad. So that's a challenge that, uh, I don't know if this pad is one that, this ship is one that would hold. Uh, I know there's a mod that has ships that will, that will hold 
helicopters. Well, that is neat. So what I'm thinking is I want to get back in my ship and see if if that uh, if that one guy went away because because I landed my boat. So let's get out of uh, showcase view and go back to cockpit view. I want to. On more start engines. Yeah, I don't know why this isn't making any sound, but I want to back it up here. There we go, we're backing up now. You know, when I was here last, it was also like uh, forerunners or what do you call eight TVs, whatever you call those vehicles you can run around with. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Besides that expedition rover that we just saw, uh, they had uh, those kind of fun looking uh, four wheelers. All right, I want to see if I can find that little motorboat. Take a closer look at it. All right, now we're talking. There's a guy in a there's a guy in a motorboat out here somewhere. There he is. He's heading out this way. Well, this has turned out to be quite the expedition. Get to see some orcas, some whales. Got to see some penguins. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful background scenery. Whales coming up.
And off in the distance, all the way to the right, we have our expedition ship. Well, that's it. That's our expedition to Antarctica. Got to see some wildlife and uh, had some beautiful panoramic scenery. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time.